Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and happy 4th of July, and thank you guys for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel we'll be looking at the final deluxe figure of Wave 11, and that of King Hiss, the dreadful disguise leader of the Snake Men. Okay, we'll be taking a look at the packaging, what comes included with him. His extra hands and head, his weapons, the artwork as well. We'll be comparing him to the 1986 version, thanks to Pixel Dan and Dark Horse Comics. We're starting off with that really iconic, really cool Snake Men sticker logo in front of the packaging. With that even cooler, I think, snake skin uh, bubble. Here's the figure itself. Okay, right out, look, looks like right out of the 1986 version. Right there. Comes with an extra head and, uh, and arms as he transforms. To his you know his snake form his shield and the his iconic snake spear i gotta say you know all the snake men have their own iconic snake spears whereas like the horde people have you know horde guys have all their iconic um, crossbows so i think that's pretty cool right there of course the red rocks blasting around him as well with the master universe logo from coming out of those rocks with the snake head and the two snakes above Master Universe, right there. And of course, with the deluxe form, they come with you know with the figure picture of the figure in front of the packaging. Also, the Mattel Creations exclusives do that same thing. All right. Here's one more shot of him in the packaging. Let's flip it around. See some really cool, beautiful artwork. Of him in his full snake form right there with snake Tila in the background as she's been transformed and is under his control and there is good old snake arbor he-man about to take him on his action call out of the figure and of course the cross cell of all the figures in wave 11 and I have done reviews for each of these guys if you'd like to go back and check them out please do there you go. More shot of King Hiss. And this is my first ever King Hiss in my collection, so I'm pretty good to have it. Of course, with a with a new wave comes a new comic, and the comics are different for the deluxe waves to the single carded waves. And this is the comic that comes included with uh, Thunder Punch He Man. And King Hiss, it's called Heart of the Snake, right there. Do a brief skim. All right. And here's the back cell right here of all the other characters in Wave 11. All right, there we go. Now, my first real experience with King Hiss was in the 2000X cartoon uh, when they had that full season of the Snake Men or the Rise of the Snake Men um, episodes. And that's my first experience of King Hiss. But this is what he looked like back in 1986. Okay. Right there. As you see, almost identical to the Origins version. There's his snake form right there. So everything was included already. This head, the snake head and arms are already in the body. It just like snapped on to each other. So he just snapped it off to reveal his snake uh, form. Whereas Origins, you can you know, apply the head and the hands if you wish and how you want to create it and stuff like that. Everybody looks like front to back. Right there, side to side, right there. And there's that snake logo and the packaging right there, you know, familiar to the Snake Men sticker right there. So I, I love the fact that they've kept that, that vintage look with a little twist to it. And King Hiss in the packaging right there. All right. So let's get old King Hiss out. I do have a loose version of him. 
And here he is in his normal human form right there. As you can see. I mean, right out, it, it looks like right out of 1986. I mean, like I, I went back in time and came, and got him and came back here to the, to the present to show him off. That's what I love about Origins and stuff like that is the look and feel of the classic vintage, you know, 80s line He-Man, stuff like that, you know. They've done a really great job of giving that look to us with more articulation and stuff like that. But the shield... His head. And then one thing about King S, he can be very creative, you know. I think I'm going to pick up a second one. So I can, you know, maybe even a third one. Because, you know, you can have him like this. And have another one where he's, tr like, barely transforming to the snake form. And then the third one where he's fully transformed to his snake form. So it's like, or you can, it's like I said, like, it's so creative and, and really cool. Oh, put that down. It's very easy to, you know, remove, you pop the arms off, right there, like that, pop the head off, there you go, there's his snake body right there, okay, there's one of his arms right there, can pop on right there, his other arm, and then here's his head, Right there, there's his full snake head, body, and arms. All right. Now I wish there was a couple things that I wish you know they could have done. Is that that you know I wish the mouse right here would open and close, be articulated. That'd be pretty cool. Um. But they are you can move, you can twist them around. If you wish. Okay. They get another thing I wish. They would have done with the arms if it was more pliable you can actually bend and move them around and you know and leave them in different forms and stuff like that but you cannot do that with him it's very as you can see as you can see you can't bend it and leave there you know it's just one form only unfortunately So I wish that, you know, Mattel would have given us that option of some more articulation in the arms and in the mouth of the snakes on his hands and stuff like that. I think that would have been a really cool idea. Stuff like that. His, his body, his, his normal body. And it's a nice, soft, you know, pl you know, plastic and stuff like that. Very nice. It's very easy to, you know... Transform him back somewhat. Like, like I said, you can be creative. You know, you can just put his head on right there. His normal head on with his snake, you know, arms coming from right there. You can have, I mean, like, like I said, you can do so many things with him. You know, really cool things. Like, he's, like, transforming back into his human form and stuff like that. Or transforming into his snake form. Like that. Really cool. I mean, really, really cool. You can have it like this with this, you know, it's just being creative, you know, and that's what I love about Origins is, you know, how you know, how far can your creativity get, take you, you know? With his shield and stuff like that. He's about to morph into his full snake form and stuff like that, or morphing back into his human form, you know? There you go. So there you go, guys. There's a look at been at the at the leg. I wonder if you can you can pull it back. Yep, yeah, you can remove it from the from the waist. Snaps right back on with no fuss. Right there. All right, guys. Give me a second. I'll, I'm going to put him right back into his uh, full human form, guys. Give me a second. All right, guys. I got him back almost to his full human form. There's his staff right there. Probably going to fall down, but there you go. Get these out of the way real fast. Put them right here, next to his. All right, guys. There's a, a good look at King Hiss. You know, I'm glad you have know, very cool character. Right there. Let's see if I can get his 
I can have it in its staff right here. Let's see if I can get that to get. Oh, don't fall. Ah. Come on, work with me. I hope. There we go. All right, sorry about that, guys, but I think we're good to go. And there he is, back to his human form. So yeah, a very creative character, you know, a really cool character. You can create it however you wish. As he falls down. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll put that to the side real fast. All right, but there you go, guys. There's a look at King Hiss, the deluxe form of Origins. We'll take the time out to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the, in the video and have subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys, all things Master Universe, through Origins, through Masterverse, through CGI. Hit that likes button, that like button, guys. That thumbs up, and I appreciate that, guys. And hit that notification bell when you know when, when I upload new videos. And tomorrow on Wednesday, we'll be looking at the final item of uh, Origins Wave 11, and that of the Ground Ripper slash Mechanic uh, two-pack combo. We'll be taking a look at that. It'll be pretty cool to take a look. Share this video, guys. Who has a, a, a passion and a love for collecting Master Universe figures through Origins, through uh, Masterverse and CGI. So, guys, I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Take care, guys.